Hey everyone, this is my second Milwaukee patent video for 2021. They've published so many new patents since I did the first video, I had to do another one. First up is the M12 under chassis light. This one has actually been confirmed by Milwaukee. It's been at a few auto shows. I don't have any pictures of it, but the general idea is it's magnetic. It goes underneath an automobile. So if you're working underneath a car when it's on a lift, you can see it easier. The light comes down and shines up instead of shining just parallel and casting a bunch of shadows. It's got a couple different versions shown in here, but basically it's got an articulated arm. Uh, some of these are kind of like a dial indicator stand, it looks like, where you can adjust and tighten down the center arm and it locks everything into place. Uh, and then there's a couple versions with a detachable head, one on a cable. So the idea is though, they're working on automotive lighting. Sticking with automotive tools for a second, we've got an M18 right angle impact driver. Now, a few years ago, they released an M12 version of that, and that one's pretty beefy. Uh, so I don't know if this was the original patent for that one, and they just hadn't decided on a battery platform at the time, but this one definitely shows an M18 version of that tool. So the next one up is an M18 times two backpack blower. So this is the first time Milwaukee has done this other than in a stand light having two batteries in it. Uh, so they're really swinging for the fences here and we might be seeing a shift in Milwaukee resisting times two tools. Of course, there's always the possibility this could be an MX fuel backpack blower instead, like their concrete vibrator, and that's because Milwaukee seems to be trending towards outdoor power equipment with MX fuel as well. It wouldn't be the first time Milwaukee has switched up showing M18 batteries in an actual MX Fuel tool because that's what they did with their giant tower light that threw me off originally. Next up is an M18 times two material lift and hoist. So this is for lifting ducts and pipes and heavy things like that up overhead where they're gonna be installed. And of course, with anything that lifts heavy overhead loads, you've got a lot of safety features on this like locking paws in case you lose battery power uh, while you're lifting something. In addition to that material lift, they've got a whole patent on just different lifting mechanisms and securing devices. Uh, this is a, a really weird patent because it looks more like a brainstorming session where they just threw a whole bunch of ideas, made a bunch of really rough prototypes and worked through how each of them would function. Uh, and then they just spit it all out into a patent. So since we just looked at two M18 times two tools, the question is, is Milwaukee's new lawnmower, which they just confirmed, gonna be a one battery or a two battery tool? I really thought it would be a two battery tool, also based on these patents, because it looked like they were kind of making the leap to two batteries. So we'll have to wait and see when we get more details on the M18 mower, whether or not that thing has two batteries or one on board. Next up, a couple pack out patents. This first one is a pack out sawhorse. So these sawhorses collapse down, they've got telescoping legs and they fold up and they fit in the middle of your pack out stack. They're gonna stick out a little bit on each side, but it makes it nice and portable and easy to carry around. Once you're ready to set it up, you just need a length of sacrificial two by four and stick it on the top. And while it's up and set up, you can connect your pack out boxes uh, up against the, the legs. I found another pack out patent for a wireless charging station for your phone. So it's basically a pack out box that you can stick an M18 or an M12 battery in, connect it internally, and then there's a wireless charging pad in the center well. So there's a half width organizer style pack out box, and it's gonna have a little bit deeper of a lid so you can actually connect another pack out box on top and still have a phone sitting in there charging. And the other pack out patent I found was a fold out work surface. So Milwaukee already has a flat, top work surface that just connects to the top of your stack. This one looks like you can actually connect boxes on top of it, take those off, and then fold out the wings to have a much wider work surface than original. There's a couple different versions of this. One of them is just the folding work surface, and one of them has a shallow organizer underneath it. I also found a couple vacuum patents as well. There's one with a ton of brainstorming for different vacuum accessories, including ones that are specific to working up near the ceiling, having a long extension that comes from your shop vac, uh, another one that has a little car that runs through ducts, uh, a fiber optic camera that lets you see where you're going. There's a whole bunch of different versions of these accessories. You really wanna go check out the patent in the link uh, for all of them. And then I also found a random disposable shop vac set up where there's a power head and then like basically a cardboard box that it connects to and when you're done you just throw out the cardboard box. Next up is a portable pipe threader and this one is the bigger brother of the handheld pipe threader that they released a couple years ago. This one is more of a stationary tool that you set up and it can do much larger diameter pipes. So this one's going to be able to cut, thread, and deburr the pipe all with one operation. 
And along the same lines with working with a larger pipe, they've also got a pipe rotator patent. And this is basically a fixture, and they've got their high torque mud mixer shown with this as well, uh, being able to provide the power to rotate large pipes. I mentioned I found a torque wrench patent in the last video I did. This one is a torque stick patent, and they've got a spot that you can connect a specialty torque wrench so you can run on a nut uh, and have your, your impact stop when it gets some resistance, and then you can finish by taking that torque stick, putting the torque wrench in it, and clicking it to torque. So that's a really interesting concept. I really think it's a specialized tool that would save someone in a tire shop a lot of time. I think I also found the original patent for the M18 supercharger, uh, but this one also shows an MX fuel supercharger that is packout compatible. Uh, it's fan cooled, and it looks like it's a lot beefier than the standard MX fuel charger. All right, so now we're getting into some exciting stuff with MX Fuel. I found another pole saw patent. This one is for a non-conductive drive shaft pole saw. Uh, so this is for working around power lines. It says it's insulated to 100,000 volts per foot. Uh, so high voltage lines, trimming trees back from them. Milwaukee's starting to target professional users for outdoor power equipment with their MX Fuel line. There's also a separate patent for an MX Fuel welder. So this is a stick welder. It's got a smart interface that will tell you at a set current how much time you have left based on your battery capacity. There's also a feature that will time your last weld and then it will give you a warning alarm if for your next weld, if it's the same length, if you won't be able to complete it due to battery depletion. I also found a broader MX Fuel patent that just shows a whole bunch of tools that will maybe be on the lineup. So they've got a table saw on this. I bet it's gonna be a 10 inch table saw, a miter saw, a reciprocating saw. That seems like a little bit overkill. I think M18 is just fine for that, but I don't know. Uh, a blower, a string trimmer, and an abrasive chop saw. So there's some more outdoor power equipment in this mix. I think Milwaukee is really pushing towards professional complete gas replacement for lawn care equipment uh, and, and everything like that. So I found the MX Fuel Powerhead patent a while ago. It's like basically a gas engine replacement uh, for light equipment. And in this one, I found a couple more patents on that on how they're gonna control it, uh, how they're gonna work with thermal management on it. Uh, they've got some air cooling fans and also some, some liquid cooled options that they're looking at, as well as some massive heat sinks. In these few patents, they've got a couple different other tools shown that we haven't seen before, uh, including a concrete and mortar mixer, uh, that's MX Fuel powered, as well as a concrete power trowel and a sewer jetter. It also mentions a snowblower in one of these as well. All right, so now we're at one of the most exciting things that I think I've found. We've got the MX Fuel outdoor power equipment. We talked about the M18 walk behind mower. This patent talks about an MX Fuel mower that has a seat. So that means we're probably looking at an MX Fuel zero turn mower. And this makes perfect sense for Milwaukee to target this because Home Depot and Ego recently broke up and Ego now has the first battery system compatible riding lawnmower. I think Milwaukee is looking for replacing that for Home Depot. It makes sense if they're going for all MX fuel powered outdoor power equipment, that this is the next logical step. So that's all the patents I found for Milwaukee Power Tools for the second half of 2021. Hopefully we're gonna see some of these soon. And I know there's still no track saw in any of these patents. That doesn't mean Milwaukee's not working on it. They just might not have anything patentable on it. Uh, so once again, don't forget, all of these are just patents. There's no guarantee any of them are coming out. Uh, but let me know in the comments what you're most excited about.